Hello everyone, this is Alan with Door to Door Garage Doors and this is another Door to Door Quick Clip. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about R-Value. Um, R-Value is used specifically with garage doors to talk about how well insulated the garage door is. Um, it's a term for rating insulation, you're going to see it on your regular home insulation, um, as well as windows and other things like that that provide some sort of air barrier that you're going to want to know how energy efficient it is, um, especially in terms of doors and windows where you want to see how well you're going to keep the heat in or the heat out or cold in, cold out um, that you're paying for as far as heating or cooling your home. Um, with garage doors, uh, our values probably more recently become important um, with the advent of the steel insulated garage doors. Um, prior to this, a lot of the wood doors, uh, especially the older wood doors where you'd see the wood frame with the masonite panels really had no R value. Um, and then they slowly started adding in wood frame with some insulation in it. And now the steel doors are all insulated. Um, we typically only do steel backed insulated doors really more for strength than anything else. But then they also do provide uh, a nice air barrier to um, help keep your garage warm or cool depending on the season and what you're trying to accomplish. So the first one we're going to be looking at is just your regular steel hollow back door. Again, this one isn't going to have much R value, hollow steel door. Um, we don't do too many of these, but if it's like a detached garage or something, you really, um, you know, the installation really doesn't matter. You could do one of these. Um, they are a little bit flimsy. They also have um, a model where they'll just glue a little piece of insulation in the back here um, and provide some insulation. Something like that would have an R value of about six and a half, somewhere in there. Um, but again, because it's only just kind of glued in there, it's still pretty flimsy being a hollow door with just that piece of insulation, uh, usually styrofoam in there. And the next level up from something like that, which is probably our most popular door that we do the most, would be something like this, which is a inch and three eighths thick steel back door, nice and sturdy. Um, this one's going to provide an R value of six and a half as well, but with that steel back, um, it's a lot more sturdier because basically it's built, um, front skin, back skin with the insulation in the middle um, so it doesn't flex or twist or anything like that. Um, so you're going to see a much stronger door, but the R value is still about six and a half, which I would say is sufficient if the garage isn't heated. Um, if you start heating the garage, then you might want something a little bit um, more in terms of how well it's insulated. So like I said, this one's at inch and three eighths, and then you can go up to the next level, which would be still a styrofoam insulation, but it's a little bit thicker, it's gonna be a two inch door. With the two inch door um, and the styrofoam, they land right around nine when you're talking about R value. Um, and then the next level up, which is what this section actually is, it's got the spray foam, the polyurethane insulation. So they take the two skins and actually hot foam inject it. Um, and that's gonna get you your best R value because you can see how dense this is compared to just regular styrofoam. Um, and then these usually start at around 13.35 and go all the way up to like 19.4 um, is one of the higher uh, R values I've seen for garage doors. And that, you know, that's basically top of the line when it comes to uh, R value in a garage door. Um, like I said, we typically only do those if you're planning on heating the garage. Um, if you have bedrooms above the garage that get cold, one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at how well insulated the door is, is how insulated, how well insulated the rest of the garage is. A lot of times we'll see people wanting to have a very high insulated door, but the walls in the garage and everything else aren't insulated. So they're spending money to insulate the door, but then the rest of the garage isn't doing any favors as far as keeping the heat in or anything like that. It's definitely something to think about when you're uh, deciding on a garage door for your home, is how well insulated you want it to be, depending on how you plan on using the garage. Um, one thing that trips a lot of people up is a lot of people will think, um, you know, a door like this has an R, you know, a regular door's got an R value about six and a half, or if they go up to one of the higher, thicker doors, the R value is going to be 19, so that's going to be twice as good. When in reality, I should put a quick chart on the screen, what you're going to see is the percentage of insulation efficiency is going to be just a few percentage points more, so it's not going to be a huge difference um, which is why we kind of recommend really only going for the higher ends if you're uh, planning on heating the garage or, um, you know, there is an issue currently with the garage being uh, insulated. So 
it's definitely something to think about, something to learn more about. And if you have any more questions, you can always reach out to us at Door to Door Garage Doors. We'd be happy to answer them, um, leave a comment, and always remember, like, subscribe to see more Door to Door Quick Clips. That's all for today. Thanks. Bye.